Hello, this is my Kaya Perico uh, Essentials scope out, including the treasure chest locations. I'm not going to show you every single le treasure chest location because there's 19 in total, but it's only worth going to 11 of them, and even then you don't have to go to all of them because uh, you're only going to get one spawn on land and one spawn in the sea or in the water uh, every day. So once you found the on land one, there's no point in keep going to the other spawns to see where they are. Once you've come out of the cutscene, then it's have a quick look at your map, see where those question marks are. The question marks aren't the treasure chest you're looking for, they are ones you use a metal detector for, which I'll go over when we actually go around to one of those, but I've already done one, I can't be bothered to show both of them in the video. They're not that interesting, I think. Not only is that a treasure chest location, there's also a motorbike spawned here and there are four of those motorbikes that are on this route so if you do lose your motorbike for a crash or anything you can just carry on running the route and then pick up a motorbike at a different point and save yourself a bit of wear and tear when you're fun. If you notice on the map there, I've already scoped out a uniform here and a lot of these treasure chest locations are actually places you'd want to go if you were trying to get the 100% award, uh, the award in-game award that is, uh, for getting 100% scope out. And I can make a video about that if you're interested and if you are then please leave a comment and I'll start working on that. So you come through here and there's three rocks, you find the crate there, but to show you what I mean, I just should bring up the map and show you. You've got um, underwater ones in these two little sort of bays either side of this, I don't know, I suppose you call it a peninsula, but anyway, and you're swimming around out there trying to find the boxes, this tiny little box like that, and listening for a chime to make sure you're near it, and you can easily run out of air and just well, waste an awful lot of your time. I don't want to keep going on about it, but I don't think they're worth doing.
This is the third motorbike location. So if you do die or get caught, this one's worth coming to because it seems to spawn in quicker than the first one. But obviously if the first one's visible when you first come out of your respawn, then you might just pick that one up. There is an advantage to coming here at night in that the bottom left hand radar map, whatever I call that, is a lot clearer to see the guards cones, which I'll just quickly flick over tonight and show you. But the way to decide if you're coming here or not at night is it's roughly eight to ten hours from when you left you'll get here. So if you leave at roughly lunchtime you should get here at night and if you leave roughly at midnight you'll get here in the morning. And then like I said, you come out at night, you can see their cones much easier. And at bits like this where you're really waiting for them, you've got to be careful not to drive into one of about four different uh, viewing cones. It does make it a bit easier. This is the first of three locations that cutting powder can spawn. You might as well build this into your route if you're coming around anyway, because of you grab it, you put it into their water supply later on, and then it's uh, you know it's easier on the final heist, at least it's meant to be, because of the guys have got upset stomachs, and will be polite and say it like that, and so they're not concentrating so much.
this is the second of the, of the cutting powder spawn locations and there's also the last place you can pick up a motorbike on your route round so if you have had an accident and lost your bike then you can either run back to here or run, continue to run on to here and then get it and then after that you can save your thumb a little bit So when you get to the question mark, leave your motorbike in a place where it's going to be easy to find. Press L2 to get your metal detector out and if you're lucky like this where it stands out really obvious because it, it's always buried under sand, then it's light and easy, you don't have to produce the metal detector because you'll just start facing the right way and see it. But if it's buried in the sand, then obviously you're going to use your metal detector a bit more to find it, but it won't take that long. This is probably the most awkward one to find on on land. The only mark you've got is that sort of particular tree there, and when you get near it, there's a sound. You get it on all of them, but if you're on the motorbike, you don't hear it. So I'll, I'll stop talking in a moment, and then you'll be able to hear like a chime to tell you that you're definitely in the right place.
opinion on your opinion of maths now for the easiest hack in the game um, basically when you get in there's this fuse box thing here you go into it you've got three numbers three symbols if you're not sure what the symbols are going to do then just move the first number up and down them all to see what effect it has on the bottom number and then it's just a matter of making it match the one above these fuse boxes can spawn in um, four different places there's this shed here and there was another shed you just saw um, at the bottom and then at the top of each ladder so that's like the middle the two middle sections there's like a little alcove for it to spawn in and at the very top it's just walk to the back of the platform and you'll see it well you won't be able to miss it if it's there because it's so large but it should basically get it back of the platform when once you've done all of that and you've got yourself to the top then go into your phone scope out the actual cameras if you, it's your first time doing it just slowly pan left to right on all of them if there's any doors zoom in and try and get the keypads um, if not then it's just a matter of you know if it's not your first time just go into where the actual treasure are move left to right till you've got them all and then back out and then it's just a quick parachute across to the final place So depending on whether you've got the cutting powder or not, you want to either aim for the, le the helipad or that red tower. The red tower is the water uh, thing where you're going to put the powder. If you haven't got it, then you've got to aim for the helipad, gives you a nice easy landing here. And then just turn back on yourself for the final spawn location for the cutting powder.
my mind. That's the only treasure, underwater treasure chest anyway, that's worth looking for. The others, like I say, they're off the coast. There's very little in the way of landmarks to make sure you can swim in from the right place in the first place. And when you're underwater, it's difficult to know you're in the right place. You're listening for that chime. You can waste a lot of your time there. Whereas if you're doing the career, which is what I think most people are doing these treasure chests for, it's you know, we come in here an awful lot because you've got to get a mi uh, 50 million, which if you're doing like two of you, you probably get a million each if you're lucky. So that's an awful lot of coming in, so you'll easily get your 10 of those treasure chests. And then after that, you can just do the route without including the treasure chests. Anyway, so hopefully you found this video useful or interesting. If you have, please leave a like. Um, of, and if you do want me to make a, a video about the full scope out, get 100% achievement, which is not necessary for your uh, career, but anyway, if you do, then please leave a comment, or if there's any other part of the GTA that you're interested in me making a video about, then obviously leave a comment about that as well. Uh, I've made a few guides already to do with GTA, so if you go to my channel, you'll see the various ones I've got there. And obviously if you subscribe you'll know when I've made a new video. Thanks for watching.